your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. exchange rate, which shows a 20 percent increase in U.S. dollar nominal exchange rate at exactly the same time that you were handing out half a trillion dollars to foreigners. Do you think that's a coincidence? Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, the Constitution says, no money shall be drawn from the Treasury but in consequence of appropriations made by law. So who got the money? To financial institutions in, in Europe and other countries. Which ones? I don't know. Half a trillion dollars and you don't know who got the money? The Federal Reserve was created in 1913 by a cabal of bankers headed by J.P. Morgan Interests, Rockefellers and the Rothschilds. Uh, they have uh, basically taken away the power to print money from the people and put it to a central bank that actually destroys uh, our economy by interest on every dollar printed. What is the uh, proper relationship, what should be the proper relationship between a chairman of the Fed and a president of the United States? Well, first of all, the Federal Reserve is an independent agency, and that means basically that uh, there is no eight other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. There is no eight other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. There is no eight other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. Well, here's the Federal Reserve. I know, they make me cry too. The scene of the crime. Federal Reserve, founded by international bankers and the British Royal Crown, among others. Uh, the Federal Reserve was created in 1913. It's a uh, cartel of international bankers uh, ruled mostly by the Rothschild and Rockefeller interests who are literally devaluing the uh, dollar of the, uh, the United States, the American dollar, uh, to put forth a world government, uh, which is basically uh, the reason why the Federal Reserve has never been audited. Uh, they work in secret with the Bilderberg Group and the Council on Foreign Relations does the uh, centralized uh, planning for the uh, uh, global wars, which are endless. And we go from one uh, war or military kinetic action to another military kinetic action, never saying that it's truly war. Um, all I can say is, you know, to save our republic, we must end the Federal Reserve. These gentlemen are out there protecting um, a bunch of uh, corporate criminals, literally, who have fleeced the American people. But what are your opinions on the Federal Reserve? Do you have an opinion? Well, you know, I've never been a big fan for the for national uh, centralized banks in general. It, again, as you said, it, it's bad for our currency. It, it, it enslaves us and actually gives us no incentive to work hard. And they love that, and they that is their goal. Just look around. I mean, it, everything's one big social program after another, and they can't even keep the the, um, they can't keep the, the uh, fountain clean at the Korean War Memorial. They can't even get the little stuff right. So. They can't get that right. How can they get the big stuff? Take care, sir. You don't want to film me what I have to say about all Well, that. how about this, sir? I got you off camera, and if you, she's wearing the helmet there. Well, what, I'm just trying to say I'm walking around uh, talking to folks about the Federal Reserve. What, what, are you, what is your knowledge or uh, understanding or uh, feelings about the Federal Reserve? Well, I think the government has their heads stuck up someplace warm and moist. And they need to wake up and smell the roses. Absolutely. Uh, it's just, I can't imagine anybody can, or any government can be so stupid to spend money when they're in hock up past their butt already. Not unless that's the plan. You see, there is actually a, uh, a global plan to unify all the major powers of the world under a, a world government that will end the sovereignty of the United States. Are you aware of this? Well, it sounds like a very naive plan. Well, they believe it can happen and they're trying to get it. Wow. 
Um, good, so good luck on that. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're trying to wait, raise awareness because we keep giving up our sovereignty to to uh, in, uh, globalist international bankers, who really actually are, are running the show. They're actually the ones that are making the policy. They're the reason why we're bombing Libya. They're the reason why we're going to be going into Syria. They're the reason why Obama says one thing and does another. And, and Orwell was very right when he said that it'll become a double think society where they say one thing and do the exact opposite. George was pretty smart. He sure was. Thank you for your words. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Hey, what do you think those aristocrats back in 1861 or actually 1864 would have thought about uh, the Federal Reserve. About Federal Reserve? Yeah. They wouldn't have been with it, I don't believe. Yeah, isn't that one of the reasons why they started the Civil War was because was taxation of... Taxation without representation. The South was paying 86% of the taxes and uh -huh. being reinvested into the North, to industrialize the North, and none of it was yeah. coming back for our needs in the South. So the same reason we left our mother country for taxation without representation was one of the leading causes why the South chose to secede from the North, which was our constitutional right. Absolutely. Tenth taxation Amendment. Taxation without representation again. Once again, and they're doing it again right now. Right the... now they're doing it again. Yes. That's right. History seems to repeat itself, doesn't it? Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it is. Great commentary. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. still appears to be infectious. We steer our ship with hope. Thomas Jefferson said, we fear stern. The flames kindled on the 4th of July, 1776, have spread over too much of the globe to be extinguished. For ourselves, let the annual return of this day forever refresh our recollections of these rites. And an undiminished devotion to them. Just wondering if you have any uh, opinion uh, on the Federal Reserve system that we have. Uh, are you aware of the Federal Reserve and what it does? I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what it is, okay. <laughs> it sounds like it's part of the government, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, actually, Federal Reserve is a consortium of six international banks that control the monetary policy and devalue the dollar of the American currency, the, the dollar. You are aware of the problems that we have right now in the economy, right? Of course. Yeah, so then did you realize that every dollar that the government prints is equal to a dollar of debt? Unbelievable. I knew that, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's what they do. So it's an enslaving system. So I highly recommend you look, do some research onto the Federal Reserve and, and the Fed. All right. Yeah, have you ever heard of the Federal Reserve? Are you taping me already? Uh-oh. Yeah. You don't have to say yeah. Do you mean like, um, Is it okay if I ask you a question about the Federal Reserve? You can ask me. Cool. I don't know if I know anything. Well, we just, well, no, I'm just getting people's opinion on it. Um, okay. So, you, have you ever heard of Federal Reserve? Yes. Okay. What are your opinions on the Federal Reserve system and uh, do, you, do you know how it works? No, I don't exactly know how it works. Mm-hmm. Um, are you, when you're talking about the Federal Reserve, you're talking about the money? Or are you right. About, okay. That either the money with the debt or the money that they have. The money is debt. Yeah. Every dollar produce, like, produces an equal dollar well, of debt. Oh, I, I watched, um, I actually just watched something on it on TV, and they, they were just saying that the debt just keeps building up and building up, and I don't know. Right. Actually, it's a huge Ponzi scheme. Uh, it, it's actually a consortium of bankers that actually uh, created the Federal Reserve. There are six central banks, and they're international bankers, including, uh, believe it or not, the, the Queen of England, well, actually the British Crown, uh, and the Rockefeller, Rothschild, and J.P. Morgan interests. 
Um, it's just a, a large, uh, basically tax on the people. So it's enslavement because every dot will never be able to pay this money back. Yeah, yeah. This, this is actually a cartel. When one thinks about a cartel, you think about drug dealers and yeah. such. Well, these are drug dealers. In fact, um, Wells Fargo were just literally caught and got a slap on the wrist. They got a $300 million fine uh, for, for uh, actually laundering $300 billion of drug money. That's where my mortgage is through, Wells Fargo. Yeah, Wells Fargo wow. and Wachovia, right. So there is a lot of stuff, This, cha the, this uh, it's a very wide conspiracy, but it all starts from the Federal Reserve. Anyway, thank you for your comments, I appreciate it. Warning, firearms prohibited. The freedom and happiness of men. I'm absolutely appalled by Time Magazine's cover, shredding the Constitution, as if it's not bad enough that uh, Obama shreds it every day, like Bush before him and Clinton, that they, they manipulate and use the Constitution to their advantage, but want it shredded when it doesn't work their way. Uh, sacrificing our liberty for security with the TSA, now saying people are going to be sewing things into their bodies. Come on, I, I, I reported this in uh, American Patriots Forum months and months ago. It's just on and on. The terrorists are going to, they're, they're doing this, the terrorists are doing that. Prepare for this, prepare for that. It's fraud, it's a lie. There are a lot of people who lie and get away with it. And, uh, and that uh, we will in fact find uh, uh, weapons or, or evidence of weapons programs that are, are conclusive. I don't think we'll discover anything myself. It appears that there were not weapons of mass destruction there. You said you knew where they were. I did not. We know where they are. They're in the area around uh, Tikrit and Baghdad and, and uh, east, west, south, and north. Well, first of all, I, I have it lied. There are a lot of people who lie and get away with it. Talking about lies, and your, your allegation that there was bulletproof evidence of ties between Al-Qaeda and Iraq. Was that a lie? Intelligence gathered by this and other governments leaves no doubt that the Iraqi regime continues to possess and conceal some of the most lethal weapons ever devised. There are people going to find out the truth, and the truth will say that this intelligence is good intelligence, no doubt in my mind. I don't know anybody that I can think of who has contended that the Iraqis had nuclear weapons. And we believe he has, in fact, reconstituted nuclear weapons. Saddam Hussein is determined to get his hands on a nuclear bomb. We cannot wait for the final proof. He's got him. He's got him. The smoking gun. He's got him. It could come in the form of a mushroom cloud. Colin Powell didn't lie. My colleagues, every statement I make today is backed up by sources, solid sources. These are not assertions. What we're giving you are facts and conclusions based on solid intelligence. He has not developed any significant capability with respect to weapons of mass destruction. He is unable to project conventional power against his neighbors. The are people going to find out the truth? I have not suggested there's a connection between Iraq and the 9-11. You have said in the past that it was, quote, pretty well confirmed. No, I never said that. Okay. I, I never think said that, that is... No, absolutely not. What I said was, uh, it's been pretty well confirmed, that he did go to Prague and he did meet with um, a senior official of the Iraqi intelligence service. Saddam Hussein aids and protects terrorists, including members of al-Qaeda. Secretly, and without fingerprints, he could provide one of his hidden weapons to terrorists or help them develop their own. What did Iraq have to do with what? The attack on the World Trade Center. Nothing! He said there were three main reasons for going to war in Iraq. Weapons of mass destruction. Saddam Hussein has gone to elaborate lengths, spent enormous sums, taken great risks to build and keep weapons of mass destruction. The claim that Iraq was sponsoring terrorists would have attacked us on 9-11.
Before September the 11th, many in the world believed that Saddam Hussein could be contained and that Iraq had purchased nuclear materials from Niger. The regime is seeking a nuclear bomb. Now, all three of those turned out, turned out to be false. Uh, first, uh, just if I might correct a misperception, I, I don't think we ever said, at least I know I didn't say, that there was a direct connection between September the 11th and, 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 and Saddam Hussein. Who does the president think he's effing kidding? Uh, of course, it was information that was mistaken. There are a lot of people who lie and get away with it. Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. <laughs> No weapons over there. Maybe under here. When you have a precedent set like that, and you have somebody, George Tennant, acknowledging in his book that he knew that the administration was deceiving the American people into a situation that is murdering young men and women from this country and others, that George Tennant and Dick Cheney and Condoleezza Rice and George Bush et al. should be in fucking jail. every Sunday between 2 and 5 p.m. at the Green on West Main Street by the World War I Memorial statue. Join us.